Professor James Ritchie. I'm a Professor Emeritus of Harriet Watt University. And in my last few years, I had a number of roles from the Head of Department of Mechanical Engineering, uh, Founder and Head of the Institute of Mechanical Process and Energy Engineering. Then I was elected as Dean of Science and Engineering, and then finally as a Pan Dean of the University. Knowledge transfer partnerships are tripartite arrangements between academia, industry and an associate that allows them to challenge a specific business proposition that's going to improve the company. KTP started for me uh, as an associate. I worked for a company called Ferranti. I saw other young people being recruited to the scheme and I thought that would be a, an ideal opportunity to get involved with academia and uh, tackle a challenging project which would help me in my career. I eventually ended up with a two-year contract solving a substantial manufacturing systems problem for the company that saved them some millions of pounds over the next five years and uh, was very successful and it moved me into an area of product design and manufacture which I had never really taken much of an interest in before but uh, it inspired me to follow that route through my whole career. As an academic, um, my KTP journey um, moved on quite quickly when I began my role as a lecturer at Harriet Watt. Projects that we were involved with, we had one company that made shortbread and uh, they were having a real problem with waste on their production line and uh, we applied uh, design of experiments, particularly to Gucci methods, to their mixing process which improved their yields substantially and saved them over a million pounds a year. That was a really successful project. And on the back of that, the associate managed to gain his PhD. We also worked with a, a revert company that uh, recycled uh, exotic materials, titanium and nickel alloys. And their real problem was the transport management. We initially thought uh, it was their supply chain, but it was actually the, the transport itself that was the issue and the associate came up with a framework and a costing mechanism to compare suppliers and reduce their costs and improve the delivery. Uh, and we made substantial gains for that company in terms of profitability uh, over the three years after the, the, the KTP. It was something like six million pounds. And many of the, the methods and approaches that we used within these companies uh, came from my experience as a KTP associate. REF is important to every academic. I was able to use um, the outputs from the uh, KTP associates in the forms of papers uh, for REF submissions for me as an academic. Um, we were able to um, use the case studies as REF case studies uh, with real industrial support and references associated with those case studies that could be followed up if necessary by the REF panel. Uh, and also the money that you earn as a, a KTB grant now is counted within REF. If an academic wants to develop a relationship with industry partners, there's, there are a number of ways in which they can do it. Uh, obviously they could approach their local KTP office or the internal office associated with KTP within an institution for some advice and guidance. They could also engage in teaching activities with companies for example, asking them for guest speakers, talk about case studies or give you industrial visits. Those kind of activities where you get to know the senior people within a company and then you can learn about the company and then identify any particular issues that are relevant to your kind of background and then suggest KTP to them. The support that I received in putting together proposals for the KTP came from the East of Scotland KTP Centre and that was excellent. This kind of support makes it much, much easier to apply for a KTP than any other kind of grant funding that I've uh, received in the past. I would recommend to any young academic to get involved in KTPs. It gives them industrial experience, it gives them industrial links, it gives them industrial credibility if they're trying to get partners not only for KTPs, but also for other types of funded research projects. In terms of the outside world, if they're trying to develop other partnerships, then they have real industrial experience and experience of delivering business benefits.